The Telebot project um, all started with um, a donation from Jeremy Robbins. Um, he's a lieutenant from the U.S. Navy, and he gave uh, $20,000 out of his own pocket money to help his um, disabled veteran friends to get back into the workforce. And so with that good motivation and um, good intentions, we also wanted to put all our effort and help, help this project come to fruition. And over one and a half years, we've, we've achieved a lot. Today, we see the uh, prototype of the Telebot with all the functionalities implemented. This uh, prototype uh, Telebot is designed as a six feet tall and it weighs about uh, 75 pounds. Well, Telebot can be remotely controlled by an officer or a veteran um, from a different location. They can move the arms um, through um, sensors. Um, they can also turn the head. The head has um, a, a vision system uh, where it has live video streaming. So whatever the robot sees, the officer in the re remote location will be able to also see it. You know, we started experimenting with this robot for real-time implementations. There were many challenges. One such challenge is, you know, the hands were not sort of um, working properly and the students, you know, started looking at what could be the problem. We want to make sure Telebot should be easily operatable. That means without touching a keyboard and mouse or joystick, we want to make sure use a simple hand, free hand gestures freehand head movement. The, d the remote controller can uh, move the Telebot's hands um, as well as its arms, elbows, wrists, shoulders. It can move a wide range of motion for all of them. This step is the demonstration of the fully functional prototype of the Telebot. Our next step is to fabricate the external shell of the robot and to tune up the software, automate the software and finally do the field testing.